Hello, welcome to Luna Mindai Designs. For this video, I will be doing a sort of experiment. I will be transforming Laguna Blue into a water spirit for Mermaid. This is one of my older designs, so I will be giving it a bit of an upgrade. So let's begin! My idea for her is to cut her up and make parts of her see-through and full of water. So to begin, I map out which parts of her I will be removing by drawing lines on her body with color pencil. So using my Dremel tool, I cut her apart. I also sand down the edges so that everything is smooth. This being my first try, I do not want to go overboard when doing too many parts at once, so I will just be doing her waist, one thigh, and one foot. I then take my soon-to-be water pieces and use epoxy sculpt to make the ends cleaner and smoother, and I also sand everything down. I did make a mold of the pieces to make more solid versions of the limbs. They did turn out nice, but they had a lot of bubbles and did not give off the water limb effect I wanted. And this is when I got a different idea, to make a resin cast of the limbs and fill it with water and other shiny things. I made one already, but I added shimmer powder and it clouded the cast so you can't see the water. I basically created a mini ocean themed snow globe, so let's give this another try. I wrapped the pieces in cling wrap so the resin is easier to remove from the pieces once they are cured. I make sure the cling wrap is tight as possible. I then layer on the resin to one side of the piece. Once I have enough layers, I remove the cling wrap and repeat it for the other side and the top and bottom. It is the same with the foot and waist pieces as well. Once each piece is thick enough, I carefully sand the pieces to be smooth and the right shape. I leave a small opening so I can add the ocean snow globe details and of course the water. To attach the limbs to the body, I use epoxy glue to make them stick and for a smooth transition, I snake thin strings of epoxy. Once dry, I sand it down so everything is perfectly smooth. And my experiment worked! Success! So let's move on to something else, her hair. Because her head is a resin snow globe, no rerouting for her. But I got a better idea. See through water hair. How does that sound? Now, to make the hair, I cut out different hair-like shapes from the same plastic I used for my alien fairy wings. And it's basically the same process as the wings as well. Layer on clear resin, cure, peel off, and add extra details after. And ta-da! Resin hair! I made some really long ones, some medium ones, some short ones, and some tiny, tiny ones for her bangs. So I lied. It did not in fact work. The limbs kept falling off and sanding down over and over created small holes and made certain parts of the resin cast weaker. But the thigh limb made the leg itself weak so any, any time I tried to like move it or bend the knee, it would either break off the doll by the, by the hip joint or the knee joint or just crack in general. So back at plant time, I took Spectra's body and cleaned the shins by removing the white paint with nail polish remover. I then painted the legs with blue UV nail polish to give the illusion of water. I did the same for Laguna's hands as well. To give the limbs a sort of water effect, I used white resin to create the illusion of waves. Like at a beach. Like crashing waves on the beach. I do the same for the hair off camera. Some of them I add the blue and the white, some of them I just add the white, and then some I just leave clear. I protect her legs before body blushing the rest of the body.
and seal with Mr. Super Clear Gloss. I want her to shine and glisten like the water. Her outfit is simple. I wrap a mannequin body with cling wrap and only paint one side so that it will just click to the doll. I use resin as well and add the same wave and blue detail. Plus her hair is gonna block the back of it so making it half kind of works. I make a half round skirt bottom and connect the two pieces with more resin. And if you haven't guessed it, I'm out of resin. I do later go back and add little stickers of nail stickers actually of fish to her hair, legs, limbs, outfit, basically anywhere I feel it would work. For her face up, I want big eyes. So I overdraw her eyes with the blue color pencils and then I add the whites of her eyes as well. I go in with some pinks for like the corner of her eyes and add more blues to like for her eyelid and eyelashes and other details here and there. For her lips, I just wanted them to be like a nice light blue. And then I add some little white dots to her face because they looked pretty. When doing her eyes, she did get a little creepy halfway through because I made them so big, so I started to panic a little. But after more layers of pencil and paint, it did get better. And then once I added the catch lights and her little eye fishies, it looked perfect. So since I'm happy with her face, I seal it with Mr. Super Clear Gloss and gloss her eyes and lips for a little bit of an extra shine. And here's the final doll. She does have a name. Her name is Dorina, the spirit of the ocean, waves, and the blue waters. She protects the creatures of the sea, making sure everything is living in harmony. She is a very interesting doll, more the embodiment of water as a water spirit. I am a little disappointed. My first idea didn't really pan out or work out the way I wanted it to, but I can always give it a try in the future. Maybe just not with water. Anyway, thank you all for joining me today. Creating this doll was a lot of fun. Of course, it had its ups and downs, but it all worked out in the end. Follow me on Instagram to see more and to be more a part of my process. And subscribe to catch future videos. And I just want to let you guys know I am getting close to a thousand subscribers. And once I reach there, I am planning on giving you guys a little something special. So just stay tuned for that. It will probably be announced on my Instagram. So just check that out and make sure you got your eyes peeled. Anyway, thank you all for the love and support. Have a creative day. See you guys soon. Bye.